So uh, I see that you've done uh, some work on this and I think the work you've done is great. Having said that, I'm going to do this. Now, we could use the warp mesh if we wanted to, to, to do this. We could, but we don't have to if we don't want to. What we need to do is, I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna do Command R and then I'm going to put a rule in here. And I notice that your rules are hidden, so I'm gonna do Command colon to make it show up. I want the midpoint. Right? I want to know where the midpoint is. And there's the midpoint. I'm going to take this really very lovely scallop that you've created, finger on the option key, right? And I'm going to, just like you would with a piping bag, I'm going to go get the rotate tool. I'm going to set and I'm going to rotate just the tiniest bit. All right? And again, whoops. Sorry, finger on the option key. I'm gonna do this. And again, I'm gonna go get my rotate tool. I'm gonna to set the rotation and then I'm gonna push it up so that the scallop of frosting is gonna follow this curve all the way up. All right, and again, finger on the option key, pull it out. See how this is kind of pointing in this direction? We want it to go up. So again, I'm going to do this and I'm just going to kind of feel my way around. I'm kind of bobbling between duplicating the piece and then I'm using my, um, my cursor keys. These are the arrows on my keyboard to kind of snug this down into place. And if you decide that you want to move this up, and move it up. This is actually the one I want. There it is. These are very clever, these little shells that you've created. All right. And I'm going to keep going. I'll show you when I get to the end what I'm going to do. Again, I'm just going to snug that up into place. I don't feel like we need to overcomplicate this. I feel like this is working just the way it is. And again, I might grab this one and just snug it up the tiniest bit. All right, almost there, two more. So again, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go get my rotation tool. I'm just making this come by and rotate all the way around. And again, if I wanted to, I could come in and do a little tuck. Look, I know that this isn't perfect, okay? But for what it is, you are absolutely fooling my eye. It absolutely works. All right? And now that I've got these, let me start over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna group them together and I'm gonna put my finger on the option key and I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna go get this and I'm gonna snug this into place and I think I'll move this down here. And so maybe now I'll ungroup this one, I'll tuck this one in and I'll ungroup this one and I'll grab, whoops. I'll grab this one and I'll bring it to the front. All right, and you can snug that down if you want to. And there you go. I know it isn't, you know, letter perfect, uh, but my goodness, it certainly looks, it certainly looks like what you're done here. I think it looks quite marvelous. And it absolutely looks to me like a scallop of frosting on a cake. Uh, I think it's really quite wonderful, right? Um, and I, I hope you weren't disappointed. I know that that was kind of cheating, but yeah, I think it looks great. I love, love, love 
the uh, the gradient work that you've done on here. This is absolutely A plus number one. All right, let me know if you still want to talk through this.